the European Rugby Challenge Cup action for the Ospreys this week when they face Grenoble on Thursday night. Looking ahead to the game with us now are James King and Tom Haberfield. Tom, focus changes this weekend. We're at Grenoble Thursday night in round three of the Challenge Cup. It's an opportunity for us to build on what was a good start in those first two rounds of ten points. Yeah, I think um, you know, we've, we've already put our, our stand down in Europe and um, you know, the last few weeks we've been performing really well, so I hope we can bring out uh, this week's game. And I think the start of the season we've had across all competitions has been very promising. You know, we're third in the Pro 12, top in Europe, top in the Anglo-Welsh. But I think the important thing to remember is nothing actually matters in the first week of December. It's where you are in May that matters. Yeah, I suppose we're not even halfway through the season yet, so um, we still want to keep our feet on the ground and um, not take away the, the style of rugby we've been playing. We've obviously had a lot of bonus points and, um, and things like that, so hopefully carry on with that, but, but not get too far ahead of ourselves because it's still a, a long season to go. France away has traditionally been a, a difficult place the Ospreys to go, but over the last 12 months you had two double bonus points in Bordeaux and Clermont. Yeah. One of those you remember well for a particular try. And then we picked up about five points in Lyon, so it's starting to turn. We seem to be getting the measure of what's happening out in France. Yeah, I think um, we're starting to learn what sort of the French teams are like, I suppose. And um, uh, they do like that attack and flair, they do like offloading rugby. But our defence has been great this year, and that's, that's really showed. And hopefully we can take that away from them, and our attacking game can, can uh, come into play and, and score some more tries like we have been doing. And talking of the tries, talk us through what happened last year in Clermont when you scored that. <laughs> Length of the field effort, you know, talk us through that one. I, I think we, there's two minutes left on the clock and um, we knew we had to go the length really. The boys did all the hard work and uh, James King with a great offload, Hannah with a good run and and I just, just pinned my ears back and go for the try line. So, uh, you know, it's, it was the boys doing the job and I just had the run in. All things being well, we won't be leaving it to the last minute on Thursday night though. Hopefully not, yeah. Hopefully, uh, you know, we've had a really good training week so far and um, hopefully we can, we can go out and score tries like we have been doing and and really keep their, their attack at bay and I'll be really excited for this week. Why not rock around the Christmas tree at the Grenoble game on Saturday the 17th of December and enjoy exclusive lounge access, Christmas pint of pint and a visit from the players. Even better, there's an exclusive 40% off for season members, but this offer only runs until the 11th of December and is strictly limited, so call now to avoid disappointment. Contact the hospitality team on 01792 616 488 now. In the club shop this week we have 20% off all hats, scarves and gloves. This offer runs until midnight on Thursday, so if you want to support the boys through the cold weather, Head on into the club shop or go online now at shop.ospreysrugby.com. Half season tickets are now on sale. Pick up a selection box you won't feel guilty about as you get access to eight games for just £99. Secure your seat for the rest of the season. Start with the Ospreys game against the Scarlets on the 27th of December by visiting the ticket office or go online to ospreysrugby.com slash buy tickets. James, parking the Pro 12 up after a bonus point win last Friday against Edinburgh. Trip to France now midweek, Grenoble Thursday night. How are preparations going? Yeah, you know, obviously to get the, the bonus point win against Edinburgh last week is putting you know, good momentum for this week against Grenoble in this, this European competition. We head to France, top of the pool, perfect start with 10 points from the two games. But of course, I have to forget about that now. These double headers are always tricky affairs to negotiate whoever the opposition are. Yeah, exactly. You know, we, we've managed to get two two bonus point wins from the first two games in this Europe competition so um, you know we, we've got out in France and we have got the, the maximum points are there before so it's you know, something we're looking to target to do again. Is it one of those things you know, we haven't had the greatest season in the French league but when it comes to cup competition it's a different focus, different mindset perhaps so you can't read anything to what they've done so far in the league? Yeah, you never know with the French teams. You never know, you know, what what French team is going to turn up. So, like I said, if we just we just go out there, stick to our structures, stick to our game plan, you know, I think we'll be all right. 
what kind of game plan have you looked too much into what Grenoble are about how they play what have you read into it what are you expecting from them no obviously they, you know they've got a big big heavy pack they like to drive a lot but um, you know they live off defensive areas as well so we've, we've got to stick to what we're about and hopefully we'll be right I think that's the message for the next few weeks in general stick to what we're about and concentrate on our own roles and be clinical and accurate with some big games coming up particularly looking a little bit further ahead beyond Grenoble big derby matches particularly against the Scarlets on December 27th yeah, obviously, we, you know, we've got this, this double header, you know, away and then home against Grenoble, but then we're coming up into this busy, busy Christmas period against the Scarlets and the Dragons, and, and that's going to be a different test again. When the strength and depth is growing in the squad and you're competing on three fronts and doing well at this stage of the season in the three competitions, how does the focus go? How, do, how does the mentality go between competition to competition? You know, is it just taking one game at a time? How do you actually look at preparing week in, week out in such a congested calendar? Yeah, I think you just got to take every game as it, as it comes. You know, there are going to be injuries, but I think we've got a place where we do do have some depth in our squad. So you know, if we do pick up one or two injuries, there's, there's plenty of people ready to go that can that can fill in those positions. And of course, it's important to keep in mind that we are only week one of December, and the season runs until May. So no getting carried away from anybody within the environment. No, it's exactly. It's, it's nice to be sitting where we are third in the table, but again, like we said, we've got two very very competitive fixtures over this over this Christmas period and. You know, it's not where you are on the table now, it's where you are at the end of the season that counts. That's all for now. Don't forget, the second leg of the doubleheader against Grenoble takes place at the Liberty Stadium on Saturday the 17th of December, 3pm kickoff. Tickets for that game are on sale now at the ticket office and online at osplaysrugby.com slash buy tickets. Make sure you buy yours and support the calls.